shopping list it says I'm trying to build a Mona stable circuit what is that you might ask well it's one where you push a button and then the um, the depending upon the setup and the um, size of capacitor and resistor you use um, it causes the current to flow and so well, the particular kind of monostable circuit that I'm trying to build is um, irrelevant at this point because ultimately I want to power some um, motors that will cause things to turn, things to, you know, gears to engage, stuff like that. But for right now, all I really want to do is make the current flow when I press the button for a certain amount of time and then stop. I don't care how much time. I just want to make that happen and then I'll figure out the rest of it. So I was trying to do it with what I had on hand, which I had bought a bunch of electronics components for another project that I never did. And I had a myriad of um, resistors from a resistor pack. This one I got from C&H Surplus over in Duarte. An amazing store and I love that there are so many different varieties because you can usually get close to what you want. This one cost seven dollars and fifty cents for seven hundred resistors and um, and the size of the capacitors I had were a hundred picofarad, ten microfarad, one microfarad, that's pretty much it. Um, but the, the project was calling for 220 so I thought I could try and you know just try it <laughs> so, because I didn't want to go out and uh I just wanted to record what it does when I press the button with the capacitors I had on hand in the circuit and I'll tell you what they are afterwards I just don't remember right now okay so release and so it's not really um, charging sufficiently to run the circuit. So I really hate to um, you know go and buy capacitors one by one but in a package but um, I do have to say I was able to find a nice selection and uh, some of those were actually called for 220 microfarads um, 0 0.01 microfarads and um, I picked up a couple of other sizes because I thought it'd be useful to try varying it in the um, in the circuit. So now I think I have what I need to do this. Okay, when you put the right capacitors in place, it works like a charm. Press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not sure how long it's going to stay on, but it stays on a certain amount of time and that's good. That's what I want. Yay!